Cowkai. I'm James and welcome to Cowkai Media's FIFA World Cup 2022 recap. Let's look at all the big moments from day 10. Two fixtures have now been decided for the round of 16, with the Netherlands set to play the first knockout match of the tournament against the USA after America claimed a tense 1-0 victory over Iran to secure second place in Group B. The Netherlands finished top of Group A by easily accounting for host nation Qatar in a 2-0 rout. The loss means that Qatar has now become the first ever host nation to lose every single match of its World Cup campaign. It also totally reaffirms that they received hosting duties due to their footballing acumen and nothing like a dodgy deal with Sepp Blatter. Right? Anyway, Senegal has also advanced to the round of 16 after a tense 2-1 victory over Ecuador in what was essentially a winner-takes-all contest. As a result, Senegal will now take on winners of Group B, England. England are building nicely into the round of 16 with a dominant 3-0 victory over Wales on the morning of day 10 Sydney time. Marcus Rashford collected a double and the Lions will now be backing themselves to make it through to the quarterfinals. In addition to the Netherlands, Ecuador, Senegal and England from groups A and B, a number of other teams from other groups are already guaranteed a place in the final 16 before their final matches. In Group D, France is guaranteed a place in the final 16, even if they suffer a shock defeat to Tunisia. In Group G, Brazil have also booked their place regardless of the result against Cameroon. And likewise in Group H, Portugal are already through and are likely to produce a clean sweep in the group stages with a victory over South Korea. Now with that said, Groups C, E and F are still up in the air. All three groups could see some heavyweight sides become casualties to the group stages. Group C is wide open. Poland, who are currently top in the group, have an incredibly tough matchup against Argentina, who must win to guarantee safety. A draw would be enough for Poland to progress, whereas a draw would leave Argentina susceptible to the result of Saudi Arabia and Mexico. Almost unfathomably, Spain, who are currently undefeated and topping Group E, could still miss out. Japan are no easy beats, but for safety, the Spaniards will at least require a draw. As for Group F, it's perhaps the tightest of the lot. Belgium, the second-ranked footballing nation in the world, currently sits in third place with just three points. They can potentially qualify with a draw against Croatia, which would in turn ensure the progression of the Slavic nation, who are currently in pole position. Belgium really must win though, with Morocco currently one point ahead of them in the group, who are taking on a winless Canada in a match that they are tipped to win. So nine places still remain and the Socceroos are in action very early on day 11. A win against Denmark would guarantee progression for the Aussies for the first time since 2006. Who do you think will make up the final 16? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and share the video. For more content, you can subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. I'm James Preston, reporting for Kaokai Media.